she's a mite. Ugh. Is anybody here? Yeah. I don't know. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday. Mm -hmm. So we stayed at a hotel last night. We left our beloved Airbnb. Uh, yeah. Because we are on our way to our <laughs> next. Mastoria. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and here with us. You know, I don't know if we even have a very good. If I, I see there's a few people watching, so let me know how the stream is. This may not even be a strong enough uh, signal to actually carry this. So let me know how the stream is. Can you hear us? Can you see us? Letty W, Z-Man, good morning. Letty W, good morning. Okay, so. There's... I do see some good mornings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Anyways, yeah, so you guys will see the, uh, we made a short video of this hotel. And uh, <laughs> it's just weird, just awkward. Seems like we have the craziest experiences with these hotels. Like, we can't just get a regular hotel room, you know? <laughs> so tell them um, where in the hotel we are. Um, we're in the basement. It's... <laughs> I've never stayed in the basement of a hotel before. Me either. I so... can see you blurry. I think that's what it says. Yeah, that's what he said. Let's see, that's Dan. Len. Good morning, Len. Good traveling, but not traveling. <laughs> oh, we are traveling. Trust me. <laughs> we are traveling. We're putting some miles on that little B. Yep, that's for sure. Oh, Len, <sighs> I did see that you sent me a message, but I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. So, I've been researching things for my next video. Jody Turner. Good morning <clears throat> from Ohio. Good morning, Jody. <sighs> and Len and Dan and Z-Man and Letty. Chris Stevenson, good morning. I can't wait for Halloween. Me, we either. We either. Us either. <laughs> Usins. Usins. <laughs> uh, Loco Lobo, good morning. Hope everything is well. Everything is great. Good morning, Jan. Jana. Uh, good morning, Stan. It was, oh, yes, Dan, it was good talking to you, too. And I hope you have a great, great time on in your air. B. I hope it's as good as ours were. Mm -hmm. Ours are. Good morning, lovebirds. Gregory Garrett. <laughs> good morning, Mac Fan Fun. Hey, from work. Good morning from work. Thanks for joining us. We weren't sure if uh, this was coming through very well or not. Yeah, we have a, a horrible internet connection down here. Even yeah. though I brought our internet, uh, our hotspot with us. The connection is just horrible no matter what, so. Yep. And, um, let's see. Good morning, Jarrett. Yeah, we're fuzzy. Well, we're in the basement of a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, my god. Right now, we're on whatever it will connect to. My hotspot is just as bad. It's just as bad. We can't even get anything. So, um, yeah. Probably pretty fuzzy. So yeah, we're downstairs. Um, we we were just talking about where we are in this hotel, and we're in the basement. We've never been on a in a basement of a hotel ever. And he, he, before I met him, or after I met him, or at any time in my life, have we ever yeah. been in a? Yeah. So for everybody who has come in since we said it earlier, we stayed at a hotel last night. We're on our way to our next place, and. Uh, and and as hotels go for us, it's another strange experience. And you're going to see the video, because we just made a short video to show you, because it's just so crazy. Um, we're in the basement of a hotel. <laughs> <coughs> if we um, walk out the door, we can go right out the exit, to, uh, a fire exit. <laughs> yeah, now, 
Now the hotel or the uh, the pool is down here too, but it's it's so strange. Like usually the lowest floor that they have guests on, they make the lobby and you know the entrance. But she gave me our our room card yesterday, and she was like, "Okay, now you go down." And we're like, "What? Never gone down in a hotel before." <laughs> but Never. um. So it's kind of strange, but yeah. uh, anyways, and then as COVID goes, everybody's using it as, a, as an excuse to uh, to cut down all their amenities and everything. So this was our continental breakfast at the hotel. I can't wait to see what's in here. <laughs> and we, yeah, we, we saved them. They stapled them, you know, because of COVID. They stapled them. Um, <laughs> so we saved them so we can show you what's in there. And the coffee, she, the... she fixes the coffee for you. Yeah, Not we went down to get coffee and the girl at the front desk fixed the coffee from behind the desk because of COVID. All right. I have mm. orange juice. Okay. Nice and cold. All right. Yeah, that is cold. That actually might be tasty. Oats and honey. Crunch bar. Okay, apparently we're going to have, like, basically the same things. Mm -hmm. Nature Valley Oat Bar, so that's that's not too shabby. What is that? And a teeny tiny muffin. <laughs> it's like one of those mini muffins when you buy the pack of, like, a little bag to give to a kid, and there's five of them in there. We got one. <laughs> and a oh, tangerine. Very mini Cutie. Uh, cutie. I don't no, think it's a tangerine. I think it's a... Uh, cuties are good. Yeah. What do, you, what do you call it? I think it's not a tangerine. It's not uh, an orange. Oh, it's... um. I used to have a tree of them in my yard. I can't even think of what to call them. Me either. Very mini. Okay, I'm drinking this orange juice because I'm thirsty for something cold. Give it a shot. I want to try mine too. Trop oh, it's Thurster. It's not even Tropicana. <laughs> Yeah, so that's not too, too bad, but it's just strange being out here traveling and experiencing all the because of COVID-ness. Okay. Like I said, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure, about 99% sure that most of these businesses are using it as an excuse to downsize things, what they offer, and, you know, pool's not open, hot tub's not open, even though there's nobody here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not too shabbily. Oh. Okay, I gotta give that a try. And it's funny because <sighs> I can actually already taste this before I even open it because I've yeah. had had these before. And there's a different taste it, that there comes is. with with stuff when it's in different containers. Mm -hmm. It smells exactly like what I expected. Chancity Epps said hello from South Carolina. Hello. Bagels and cream cheese. We wish. Yeah, that tastes exactly how I expected. It doesn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a very high carb bag, is right. It doesn't taste like uh, orange juice that you would have in a glass. Mm -mm. But it tastes like orange juice that you would have in a can. Mm hmm. Good morning, Sally. Morning, Brian. Good morning, Eric. Um, talking about food, we're about to have chuckle burgers. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we have. Oh, it's in the RV. <laughs> I was gonna say I think we have our chuckle maker with us, but it's in the RV. Yeah. Everything's uh, in the RV. Uh, Garrett said he watched the DVD, The Last Blockbuster, and it was pretty cool. Cool. Joseph, hello from Massachusetts. Yes? Huh? Sorry. No. You were going to say something. No, it wasn't. Just this couch sucks. I know. <laughs> Good morning, Carla. Good morning, um, Whitney and Leslie. Good morning, Craig. And better than warm <coughs> lemonade. Yes, I guess it would be warm, better than warm lemonade. Yeah. Oh. And this is our coffee. 
and that's what it looks like. And it's not very, not very coffified. <laughs> oh uh, man! Yeah. Okay. So this room, it's it's really not too bad. I mean, it's a it is a nice room. Like I said, you'll see it when we put up the video. Um, excuse me. It's a nice room. It's just very awkward because of the location, and it's like it almost feels like a hotel room that isn't supposed to be a hotel room. Mm. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's damp, yet this morning, I mean, we had a good night's sleep. The bed was very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, pillows were like nine pillows on the bed. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it wasn't that bad. It's just the, it's just the, the feeling, you know? The yeah, it's just, just it's weird. weird. Just weird. <laughs> good shower. Had a good shower. So. And then you, and we can hear people above us, of course, like they were sweeping the floor, apparently, in the room above us, something. So I was trying to place, yeah, I guess there would be a room above us. They were sweeping, and I was hesitant to say it. But I said, well, I mean, they can't sweep all night. And I didn't well, hear I anything last no, night. Did you either. sleep good? Yeah, I did. Did you have to wear your earplugs? Uh-huh. I did, yeah, because so. the refrigerator, you know, kept coming on and off. And mm -hmm. I need to I need to have a quiet room. <laughs> mm. Okay, so good morning from Pittsburgh, PA. DK <laughs> Elevators, good morning. Good morning. We're only here until we're finished with this live and we're out. Yeah, yeah, we're already we're out and on our packed way to up, ready our to roll. Next place. It was just a, a in between place, so we didn't have to make such a long drive. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see. Hmm. Pros and cons of the place. Well, we kind of just said the cons is that it's in the basement. It's kind of, it's kind of damp to me, and it just doesn't feel like a hotel room. We had to have the girl mm -hmm. come down, or the guy, or whatever she was, <laughs> come down and fix the TV because it wasn't working properly, so she had to do that. We weren't sure what um, its pronouns were. Yes, we weren't. That was mean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. So so I look like I'm mad sitting here with my arms crossed, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not. It's just this couch sucks, and it's like the arm over here is too low for me to put my arm on. It's too high for me to put my arm over here. So it's, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Um, good morning, Robert Benson. Good morning, Gettysburg. What will Goliath, when will Goliath be done? Well, it looks like now we're around the second week of June. So, do we miss our dear friends? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah, that was the we best do. place. And let me tell you, I spent, I may have said this in a video, I spent hours upon hours upon hours finding our Airbnb locations that are coming up, <clears throat> and that place we just left was the best place. So I mean, fun. unless you just ha unless money is just no object, you know. And these things are expensive enough already, um, and that one was fairly cheap. I mean, for what you got out of it. It was like 140 bucks a night before all the fees that Airbnb tax on and, and cleaning fees and all that stuff. Um, but there was nothing, absolutely nothing out there that compared to that price. And for the same thing anywhere else, I mean, it would be at least double if not triple. It was, some of these prices were crazy. We did find some awesome places. So, um, obviously stay tuned because you're going to see those coming up. Yeah. We're pretty excited about we them. We are. Oh, there's one coming up that you're going to freak. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Good morning. Oh, Linda Langley, where are y'all staying? You left the deer? Yes, we <laughs> did leave the deer because we were only there for six days. Seven Seven. Nights, seven days, six nights. Yeah, something like and, that. And, yeah, they were all wonderful little... Love the animals. Love that everything was on one floor. Although up and downstairs isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Will this um, be a short live stream? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. We're not going to cut it short. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to be out here till 11. So, yeah. And we're ready to we're go. We're ready to roll, but... Um, yeah. 
was the other thing? Oh, somebody asked about Goliath. We're still not sure yet, um, the timeline. We are booked with Airbnbs through June 11th. At that point, we still have to kind of wait and see, um, if we need to get another place, which I kind of expect to because the last thing that we heard from them a few days ago was that they had finally nailed down the engine, um, like finding one, and it was going to be three weeks before they got it. So that takes us to the 10th of June. And then, of course, they need like, you know, 40 hours or something to get it all installed. Plus, we're having them do the brakes and all that. So um, we'll probably end up having to get another week somewhere. I got to sneeze. <laughs> ah, there you go. Go. There you go. Now you have experienced it. The, the, <laughs> Nate, the Nate sneeze. <laughs> mm. Okay, what time is it where you're at? It is 8.20. Jay, uh, Jay Bird on Jana said the place was beautiful and this is an uh, that was an awesome price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was a great price for that place. I mean... I'm going to leave it as a gem for other people, of course, you know, but like, I was half tempted to say, man, you need to jack up the price for this place. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. It is 50 degrees outside today, where it has been in the 40s. Uh, was it cold out? You went out with this sleeveless shirt. I mean, it's chilly. It's chilly and it's wet, and I got a whole day of filming today, so... You got a lot of <laughs> uh, Let's see. Hey, Nate, you and Wally still get together. I mean, not for a while. We, I, I'm not even in Ohio right now, so. <clears throat> but when we get back to Ohio, yeah, we're definitely going to meet up. Kyle Grove said, good morning from Erksville, Ohio. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was funny because... Like, I don't know how many of you guys have, have ever um, rented these Airbnbs before. But, um, <clears throat> and this is our first time, but every place is different. Everybody has their own rules and everything. And the one that we are looking forward to that's coming up here, um, oh man, we were reading through all the little details and the rules and everything last night, and it was just like page after page after page after page. Just went on and on and on and on and on. And, you know, we'll tell you about it, of course, after we do it. You'll see a video. But um, but it was just like, oh, my gosh, as excited as we are to get there, we're already ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really strange. The last place we were at, though, I couldn't, like, I, it couldn't be any more perfect. I mean, they were just, they were so personable and... Um, Mm -hmm. You know, you guys saw the place. It was beautiful. The deer outside, we had the entire place to ourselves. Mm -hmm. They did stop by and pick up their RV um, one day, but, you know, they stayed outside. They never even knocked on the door or anything. Mm -hmm. We communicated with them through email, but it was like, hey, you know, we got to stop by and get our RV, and are you guys okay with that? And we said yes, and we didn't even bother each other, you know? I wouldn't have minded talking to them, but we were just doing whatever inside. We didn't really know they were there. Right. Mark Anderson, you guys should have left honey out for the bears. We, I don't think we were in bear country, actually. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't hear anything, didn't hear about, anything bears. about bears or anything. So. And she had like a whole portfolio with all the information in it about the place. Um, so if there were bears in the area, I'm sure it would have she, said yeah. on there, you know, yeah. okay, watch so out for the bears. Sarah Hot Hotstetler wants to know, are you guys going to the roll-off farm? Where is it? Because I would love to go there. That's a pumpkin farm. You would love yeah the roll offs the little the little people. I don't know who that um, is. Uh, the little people that you mean from we, TV. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Where are they located, Sarah? Let us know. <clears throat> Could you teach Marion how to pronounce Eurexville? Didn't I say it right? Eurexville. I didn't. I didn't even hear you say it earlier, but you said it Christina, right. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Christina. <laughs> I mm -hmm. thought I saw, yeah, Little People, Big World. Mm. Yes, we would love to go there. Where is it? Um, Christina's at work. Look at this. There's a major 
uh, lag. I don't know oh, what yeah. I'm still talking about on there, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> Little rascal, where in Ohio? Oh, that's Dan. Okay, so, um, Hillsboro, Oregon. Oh, you gotta look that up. Hillsboro. Hillsboro, hmm. Oregon. Okay. And do you have status update on Goliath? Yeah, I would. Um, I would just say in that it's it's. What is the date today? Even twenty twenty fourth fourth or something. Yeah. It's it's still gonna be at least another three weeks and probably even four weeks. So. Oh my! Mine <clears throat> said you're talking about orange juice right now. No. -uh. What <laughs> nerd? <laughs> Um, so, Stan's originally from Canton. Is that what he's saying? I don't know. And Danielle, good morning from Minnesota. Minnesota. How's <laughs> the weather there in Minnesota? Um, mm. Stan lives in Utah now. Wow. Okay. Where do you see the Minnesota thing? Oh, okay. I see it. <laughs> Rolla Farm is near Portland. <gasps> we got to. Okay. Right. We'll we got see what to. we can do. Yeah. Yes. We'll let you know for sure. It's 81 in Georgia. You know, Man. I'm liking the cooler weather. I really am. I'm liking yeah, the cooler weather. Yeah, I don't mind weather. it. I'm liking it. I like to wear my long sleeve shirts, my hoodies. Mo! Both talking a break caught your live. Oh, hi you both. Taking a break caught your live. I'm glad you're, um, I hope your work is going well, Mo. And that you're feeling good, and she's back to work after her surgery. Look at my shirt. I got like one side all jacked up. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Hey, Nate and Mary, it's your question. What's your favorite horror comedy musical from the 80s? What? Horror comedy music from, from the 80s. There, I guarantee you already have the answer. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, Beetlejuice is awesome. It's not a musical, though. Horror comedy musical from the 80s. Let me think what I can think of. Uh, what's that called? Not fuzzy anymore. Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> I think of that oh, one. Yeah, that's that was cute. Nick Pangiotis. Probably brutalized that name. Good morning <laughs> from New Hampshire. Haskell Burks. Good morning, Nate and Mary. Mary and Nate. You're not fuzzy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I would have known if I checked my messenger. All right, I got to check it. <laughs> as soon as we get off here, I'm checking. Oh, Rocky Horror <laughs> Picture Show. So that's the other guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, what? Are you ready to roll out? No. I'm oh, just, okay. I thought I'm that was the... Think of something to I talk. thought that was the let's roll... Sigh. No, and we didn't bring our book. <laughs> we didn't bring any books to read today, so I'll have mm. to come up with a scripture off the top of my head. <laughs> mm. <sighs> John three sixteen. There you go. Everybody knows that one. There you go. You guys gonna check out the Goonies house, Nate? <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned and see. Autobots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a kitchen right off the bedroom. Like, we step out of the bed and you're in the kitchen here. And they do have a nice little stove, um, cooktop stove, mm -hmm. refrigerator, everything, all the amenities you need, but it's just odd. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So... What's what's everybody else doing today? It's what is today? Monday. Yes, it's Monday. Monday. Yeah. Oh, my mask Monday will be late today. Just in case you're <laughs> just in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, we have like hours of filming to do, and then we have hours of driving to do. So uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wish we didn't have the hours of driving, but I am glad to get the filming done early. I guess. Nats are taking over Louisiana. Ooh. Never not there. Yeah. That look, huh? Basement dwellers. Yep, that's us. <laughs> 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 uh, 
cleaning. No plans for me today, Linda. Oh, Stanton's your uploaded video and getting ready for another work day. Oh, I know what you mean. Mondays are my lazy days. Cleaning my it's church. Oh, but that's good. Just chilling today. Tomorrow go to school. TZB, Jana. Okay, is that Jana RN? Or is that another Jana? I think she's... Not she, asking me. She's switching um, names on us. <coughs> is that hurt your arm? Because it's like just no, hanging in there. It's, it's, I figured it was hurting your neck though or something. I've got hamburger meat in the crock mm. pot and putting a can of chili beans in it. That sounds good. That does sound good. Mm. We went to Denny's last night. After we got here and we got all settled in, we went to Denny's for dinner because basically it's the only thing around here. And it was pretty good. It, it was, I don't know, the place was just kind of run down. And I wasn't sure what to expect, but the food was actually really good. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Watching YouTube Overjot. If the rain holds off, I'm going to try to go on a bicycle ride. Well, that's good. That want me. I'm Jana Aaron. Okay. Waking up at Foxwoods Casino. Oh, Ooh, cool. that must be fun. Sweet. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, exactly. It's a nickname from what my original name is. Oh, okay. Cutting grass today. Wow, it's rainy out here today. We haven't seen rain since we left. What, Texas Who even or knows? New Mexico? It's, it's been Somewhere. months. It's been a long, long time. Yeah, months since we've seen since any we've rain. Since we've seen any rain. And of course, when I have to film all day, it's going to rain and be cold. Mm -hmm. And we're on the road, so I have no hoodie or long sleeves. So I have Never to try to find a Walmart if I want something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Of course, I have two hoodies and <laughs> long sleeve shirts. I've worn this one for two days now. <laughs> it does remind me, though, of uh, when I filmed um, Spectre, mm -hmm. the Big Fish location for the, from the movie Big Fish. That was fun. I mean, even though it rained and it was cold, um, it was fun. Of course, I had like the whole place to myself and I was just out there for how many hours was hours, I out there filming? Hours. Four or five hours or something mm -hmm. in the rain. And it, it was a really good video. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I didn't want it to rain today, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. Uh, well, what else can we talk about? Any questions? Does anybody have any other questions for <clears> us? <throat> yeah, if you got some questions, roll them. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like B is packed fully. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, we don't have... Well, we got an inch in there. We got just enough room to see over everything like this. Look at this. <laughs> um, to see out the back window while I'm driving. But it is packed. The back seat, the, uh, the trunk. I mean, and I pack like Tetris. So everything is in its own perfect little place in there. And it's still just packed to the gills. I want to give you to both to give a compliment. You are making such cool videos. Keep going. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. He makes the good videos. <laughs> Trying to keep them coming like every day if we can manage. Um, there's probably going to be a couple days here, maybe even a week before another one goes up. It just depends on the internet connection because the place we're going, we may not have very good internet at all. Um, but... The good news about that is that once we leave that area, you'll probably have a whole plethora of videos coming again. Mm -hmm. Mark wants to know, how has the repair to the RV changed your overall plans for the summer travel? It hasn't. Not really. <coughs> except that we don't have our home with us and we have to, you know, um, utilize just exactly what we have brought with us from the RV. Mm hmm which, as we look back, we think, well, why didn't we bring this, or why didn't we bring that? that? That's but... the thing. We could have brought everything, because our entire lives, and everything that we, everything we have in the RV, we use constantly. Mm -hmm. Because when you're living in that small of a space, you don't just have stuff sitting around that you never touch, like when you have a house. When you got a house, 
you got storage, you got boxes and stuff that you never touch. But in RV, you use everything mm. all day, every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we brought tons of stuff and we still are like, oh, I wish we would have brought this or that. But as far as travel goes, I mean, if we had the RV, we would be where we're at right now, or at least in this area, because this was our plans. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yeah, this was definitely our plans, except we had yeah. wanted to have our house with us. But Yeah. But, really, I mean, you know, you know. I mean, everything that we've done is a new experience for both of us, so. Yeah. It's good. Um, I just want to say, uh, yesterday we met up with WNL Reviews, which is Whitney and Leslie. And they're one of our uh, subscribers on both our channels. And it's a mom and a daughter. And they do reviews on um, television shows and movies. So mm -hmm. if, you're ever, if you want to give them a little love, go over to their channel, WNL Reviews. And uh, give them some thumbs up and some, uh, some uh, subscribers. So there. We had a good time. They made us cookies, and they were delicious. And oh, yes, they were. We took a photo of us together. You want to get your arm out of there? Okay. I mean, it's, it wasn't hurting me. No, that's all right. It's, I think it's uncomfortable for both of us because this couch is such I know. high society. So go go on um, go on our uh, Nate that Nate that guy Nate's um, Facebook. All right. Shut up. Shut think, up. Wait, just think what? about it. What's it called? That Nate guy. No. No, that guy Nate. No. No, that guys and gals. Nate. That Nate guys and gals. There you go. Facebook. Oh, <laughs> my brain is fried. I love I'm you. Sorry. You're so cute. Um, <laughs> Leslie says hi. She's scrambling this morning because she has her state testing this morning and not on Wednesday. All right. Well, we'll say a little prayer for her that she does well. How many miles does the RV have on it? Um, like 42,000, but now it's going to have a brand new engine, so mm. zero. <laughs> uh, Jared, the name of their YouTube channel is W and L reviews. Uh, will you have backtrack to pick up the RV when it's ready? Yeah, we got to go back mm -hmm. to California. Um, but then, you know, our, our plans were, when it broke down, we were heading for, uh, the Redwoods in California. I can't think of what the area was called, but I mean, it was on the coast, like right before you get into Oregon. Pardon me. And, um, we were heading there and that's the only thing that we really skipped because the plan was to go there for a week and then head over to Oregon. And so when when the RV broke down, we just left it there in Reading and uh, and then came to Oregon. So now when we go pick it up, we'll have mm -hmm. to go back and we're working on our plans for when we leave Reading. Mm -hmm. So, but we're still going to be along the same, the same path, so. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Whitney and Leslie, you're welcome. We had a good time yesterday. I enjoyed meeting you. It's nice to meet people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best it, family movie you ever see? The Ooh. best family movie? <coughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I, I love... I don't know. I love Overboard, and I think that's... Eh, you know, it's pretty, I think it's pretty family friendly. I mean, yeah, that's definitely it, family friendly. I love that movie. Not the remake. That was okay, but... Child's the, Play. The, <laughs> <laughs> Art, Len, Len, Art, Len, you are so funny. When you go to California, be careful not to drive on the highway that's falling into the ocean. Not sure of the route number. Well, thanks a lot, Stan. A <laughs> uh, route number would be nice. <laughs> if you don't hear from us um, uh, in a few weeks, you'll know what happened. <laughs> I'd like to meet the both of you when you're in northern Indiana. We'll definitely keep that in mind. You know, it's funny because um, my answer to that question about the family movie 
um, was going to be Dennis the Menace, and I think that was actually filmed in uh, Indiana, if I'm not mistaken. Either Illinois or Indiana, but I think it's Indiana. Good morning to Rel Rel, and good morning to Robert Spirko. Oh, let's see. I'd like to meet... Okay, we said that one. Thank you, Jared. Okay, W Nail Cup. Wildfire. We have <laughs> road ridden past a lot of that. Was it in California or was it here? No, it was in... It was California here. It was... And California. The, the, fi the fires? Yeah. Yeah, but we, it was we, controlled. No, I mean, before we were riding, so all the, all the black forest. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, along a lot of our route in California and Oregon... No, I think I think what we saw was in California, and it was a lot of the area that had been burned. Um, a lot of it was cleaned up and cut down and everything, but there were still like just pure black stumps, and the ground was all black, and it was kind of crazy to see. Now here in Oregon, mm -hmm. we passed by um, controlled uh, mm -hmm. forest fires, mm -hmm. where there's like a whole crew of guys out there, and they're burning sections of the forest. <laughs> I guess that's not correct. They're not burning sections of the forest. Oh, burning sections they're, of trees. Yeah, they're burning sections of, I guess, like fallen limbs and debris and things like that. And that must be a control measure. They burn it so that it's not sitting there waiting to be burned if somebody flicks a cigarette out the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but it was, mm -hmm. it stunk. And it was like, as you drive, there was a wall of smoke. It was mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. So I can only imagine how it is when there's <clears throat> actually a forest fire. Good morning, Banks41. What did I miss? Well, you have to go back and watch or read. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Not a whole lot. We're just talking about what we're doing, where we're going, yeah. and the RV and that stuff. What did, um, when, oh, are you going to see the new Ghostbusters movie? Is it out yet? I mean, I definitely want to see it. It looks good. After when you get your RV fix, where are you going next? Not exactly sure yet. We don't know It yet. just depends on... Um, we're doing a lot of traveling right now. I mean, different states yeah. and stuff. I mean, if, if by any chance they should come back and say, oh, I don't want to curse us. But if they should come back and say, it's going to take longer than we thought... Then we're going to have to find more places to stay, which means we're not just going to get a hotel and, and veg out, mm. you know. So we'll be going to places we haven't been, different states and that, um, as long as we have to till we can get the RV back. But then when we get the RV back, we're going to bypass those states that we've already been to, even though we're going to kind of cheat and stick our sticker on the RV. And it feels weird that the RV is not with us out here uh -huh. in Oregon. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're still here. So we're still going to put the stickers on. Zun, uh, Jun, uh, Zam, I'm late. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> the Fast and Furious is coming out June 25th. Studebaker Museum in South Bend, Indiana. I highly recommend visiting there. Okay. Now, I was in South Bend with Patrick. I wonder if mm. we didn't do anything when we were out there so mm -hmm. much. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay. How many states you been to so far? Twelve, maybe? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Twelve. I think so. Because we've been to... I mean, we're counting Ohio. Just because that's where I was originally. But together we've been to... Louisiana. Florida. Georgia. Mississippi. Alabama. Uh, Louisiana. Texas. Texas. New Mexico. Arizona. California. Georgia, or you not Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> what is this place? New Orleans. Or, uh, or, 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 where are we? Or where Oregon. are we? Where in the world I can't are even we? keep it straight. We wake up in the morning and we're like, where are we today? Like trying to figure out in the dark. Mm. Jacob Peterson, I got to go see you guys. Bye. Have a good day. Whatever yep. you're doing. It's almost evening where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Supper time. All right, I think we should wrap it up, right? All right, yeah, we gotta get our stuff packed up after the car and get out roll of here. out. Roll out. So I don't have my little Bible thing with me, but I am going to say 
John 3, 16, everybody knows that one. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever may believe will have life. Ever. <laughs> everlasting life. Thank you. I was going to say life everlasting, but... Anyway. anyway, that's it for us today. God bless you all. And for Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I was there with Patrick. We did go to the casino. Mm. Yeah, we didn't do very well, but we did go there. <laughs> all right, okay. whatever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else, pay it forward, and let's make, make this, this world, world a better, better place. place. We will see you guys next time we have a video up or something. I don't know. Yeah, something. I'll see you All on right. Monday Reese somewhere. Bye, guys. Ugh.